is cooking. That's what's cooking. What's up? Matt here on day five of 10 days of resilience. The journey of activating our power through the five movements with Juniper Clap. Thank you so much, Juniper, for creating this journey for us to get some refreshing perspectives into what resilience is and how we can flex that resilience muscle and cultivate more of that in our life. If you're unfamiliar with the five movements, that is the foundation of a lot of Chinese medicine, also referred to as the five elements. And so we've been going through each of the elements two days for each element. First two days, we explored water. The second two days, we explored wood. And now we're moving into fire. <laughs> so let us tap into the joy warming our beings via fire. Kicking it right off with our wonderful host, Juniper. Fire. Let's talk about the fire. Okay, so fire is the yang of the yang of the movements. Fire is joy. That's the emotion. Fire is quick. Um, just think about like when you look into a fire, the way flames like lick up and they just like, you can never really pin one down. As soon as you see one, it's like gone <laughs> to the next one. Fire is warming. Fire can burn. Fire can destroy. Fire can bring life. Fire can help us cook food. Fire is the mother of earth, the bringer of food. <laughs> so um, what is it about fire that has to do with resilience? Two things, I think. Joy is the emotion of fire and joy can be huge in developing and nurturing resilience. I find that sometimes when like a lot of hard things are going on in, in my life personally or like interpersonally, relationally, um, or even like in my um, country or in <laughs> my community, that sometimes it feels like wrong to feel something other than like distress or stuckness or the anxiety. And I'm gonna really challenge that point because I think that joy is incredibly necessary to developing resilience and to working through difficult things. Part of this is like not taking life as seriously. And I don't mean don't take life seriously, but allowing some joy, some humor, some play into things that feel sticky and hard and distressing. So I think that's one, um, one piece of fire, one gift that fire offers us in our cultivation of resilience. And the other piece is the quickness. Fire is quick. Fire can burn real quick. And sometimes when we're thinking about transformation, when we're thinking about change, we're like, oh no, this is gonna be a long, hard process and I'm gonna suffer. And sometimes that's true. And I'm gonna say, sometimes that's not true and that does not need to be true. Sometimes that is a story that our culture is feeding us to punish, to reinforce the idea that we're not good enough, that we're too much that something is inherently wrong, that in order to grow, we have to suffer. I'm here to say, if you wanna grow, baby, grow. <laughs> and the fire element is here to help you shift in a way that can even be fun and joyful and alive. The spirit of fire is the Shen spirit, which is the spirit that lights up the soul, that lights up the eyes. So when you look into someone's eyes and they're sparkling and alive and bright and their face is bright, you, you would say, your Shen is strong. And you look into someone's eyes and you notice there's this kind of like 
um, disconnect, like they're not even there, or like there's a dullness, like you look at their face and it just is like, kind of just blends into the background. Like their Shen is sad, or their Shen is disconnected from them and I would love to help them get reconnected. So I encourage you today to, um, without shame, without judgment, look into the mirror, look at your face, look into your eyes, and just notice, just take an inventory of how's your Shen doing? How's your spirit? How's your brightness? And as it feels good to you to invite that brightness into your body, breathe it on in, breathe it on in. And remember this joy and the power of fire, which is quick. Ooh, cool. Some fun inquiries into fire to the eyes, into the shen, into the joy of shifting, changing quickly. All right, so let's dive right into our affirmation for today. Feel free to repeat after me. I am a being of joy. I can shift and change quickly and with gratitude. Okay, grooving on into our journal prompt for the day. What is ready to shift with joy? Go ahead and hit pause and ask yourself that. What is ready to shift with joy? All right, that wraps up today's intentional session on resilience, on fire, on tapping into our innate joy. I hope that you were inspired to choose joy, to cultivate joy, to see more joy in your life via the element of fire. Right on. We'll be exploring and playing with fire a little bit more tomorrow. So I trust you will have a joyous day. Until then, I'll see you soon. Peace and love. Enjoy.